taking Bodie to basketball practice. Can you tie my shoes? Do you have to have tied shoes to play basketball? I think Emmy found her favorite thing to do here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go again. You let go a little bit too late. Okay. Home from work. It's Friday. Taking Bodie to basketball practice because he has his first game tomorrow. This is a different league. This one's called Junior Jazz. Different league. I think it's a little more competitive. It starts back up. We're excited, huh? Okay. A little more competitive? Yeah. Put on your seatbelt. Let's go. Can you tie my shoes? <laughs> Do you have to have tied shoes to play basketball? Yes. So today we are, we are going, going on an on an adventure. We Where are going, we going? We're going, we're going to, to the, the jump zone. All right. So De Bodhi had basketball practice tonight, and he is home. But I wanted to show you. So you know, last night we got the couches, and today I spent all day basically just stewing about what we're gonna do. All right. So I'm gonna show you how I put the couches. I just put one on either side of the fireplace, and I'm not sure if it feels like it sticks into the room funny. So we'll see if we like it. But so we've got this couch over here, and then I'm gonna move this sign and put it up there. And then we got the other couch over here, and I put in this lamp. And then I brought this mirror out of our bedroom, and I think I might put it right there. Hi, hello. I was coming up with all these other ideas of things I wanna do. So I might get different bar stools. I might do all these things. I don't know, I'm getting the redecorating itch. How do you feel about that, Derek? <laughs> I just want I just want to eat dinner. Yeah. That's all. Decorating turned into if you, if you give a mouse a cookie, you yeah. know like it turned into like if you give a mouse a cookie, you know if you do one thing then you have to do another, then you have to do another, then you have to do another. Well, that's kind of what this couch has caused. It's a domino effect of decorating. So, I don't know. Who knows where this process will end. So, it's Friday night. We thought that we should take the kids to do something fun, but Derek and I are like so tired, so tired. The girls were up a lot last night. And you know, the baby was sick yesterday, so he was fevering. So it's just been a long, we're just tired. But you know what, we should stop saying that because probably always, always say is that we're tired. So I'm sorry guys, we are permanently tired. I'm sorry we always talk about it. It's like a contest with parents to be like, it's a badge of pride, who's the most tired? Who got up the most in the night? Well, you're tired? Oh, you don't even know, my kid was up a hundred times. So we're gonna go do something, the kids wanna go to the jump zone. I hope I can just keep my eyes open. Ember and Cozy are into dressing themselves. I'm gonna let them give you a little um, get ready with me. I Ember, what are you wearing? Jammies. Cozy, you I'm can't wearing... wear jammies. I'm so wearing why not? my <laughs> shoes. You wearing your and shoes? My my pants that my get, that grandma gave to me and this shirt. Yeah. This awesome. is actually my hip hop shirt. Yes, it was. It and is mine. Cozy, what are you wearing? I was wearing. Um, I just got birthday dummies and it's from grandma. Yeah, but why are you wearing your pajamas to the jump zone? You'll get so stinking hot in those. You gotta wear cooler clothes. It's hot there. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my pajama shirt. I just wanted to wear it today because I'm wearing my dance clothes. So I just decided to wear it today. All right, so, yeah. way to go. Okay, get your shoes and coats on. Except for you, you're changing out of those two small pajamas. Or you're gonna sweat your little buns off. Yes, you, 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 you. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, everybody, get your jackets on. Get in the car. We made it to the jump zone. Okay, there we go. Let's go in. Okay, they got their special they're jump just socks a little on. Bit big. They're only Ember's. a little bit big. Oh, let's see cozy rules. Brielle's got hers. So fancy. So they have these little grippers on the bottom. So when you jump, you don't fall. Are you ready to go jump? Okay, but listen, make me a deal and don't break your leg this time. Okay. No breaking your legs. Sound good? Okay, go play.
Who's gonna get to the top fastest? Who's gonna win? Oh! I can't get there! Just jump! Jump! Three, two, one! Whoa! Last night I was trying to get my workout in doing the dishes. Tonight I'm getting my workout doing the jumping. Woo! Good job, Cozy! So we're gonna play add on, which means everyone does a oh, trick and then has to add on another trick. Alright, you ready? Yes. So you wanna be first? Don't do too hard of things, we can't flip. Okay, all right, Brielle's up first. Okay. Hi, Ken. And then a toe touch at the end. Okay, Ember, so you have to run up that and then come down here and do a toe touch. And go down here and do a toe touch. Do a toe touch. Oh, or run again. Oh, good job. Toe touch. Now do now do whatever you want. Okay, now I'm gonna do whatever I want. Okay, do your own trick. Front flip. All right. See that toe touch. Oh, mom can still do it. She still got it. That was a good toe touch. Go back down. Do your toe touch. Now a uh, front foot. Then front foot. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh, then a back foot? I can't do it. I can't. Bodie just got disqualified. You, you can only do tricks everyone can do. That's no fair. You should be able to do that. Yeah, we found her favorite thing to do here. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, hold There's on. There's two of them. Yeah, there are. Ready? Yeah. Set, go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't go again. You let go a little bit too late. Ready, set, go. Ah! I fell. I fell. I need to do that. A little premature there, bud. Everybody have fun? Ember? Yeah. Fun? I didn't. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. Okay. I think I think we have someone that's ready for bed. Did you have fun, Rio? Bodie? Yeah. Do you see the baby in the mirror? He does. There's the baby in the mirror. He recognizes himself. He loves to see himself in the mirror. It's so cute. Say hi. Hi. Who's that cute baby? <laughs> He loves seeing himself in the mirror. The little girls love dancing in the mirror. So I figured why not have one out here? This is where we hang out all the time. Now it is time for the baby to get his tube feed. He takes his tube feed at night when he sleeps. So I'm gonna get it ready. I'll show you what I do. So this is like the bottle warmer. A little bit of water in it. I have like gallons of breast milk stored from when he was in the NICU. Um, so we just have them all divided by date into these bags. So when we need a new bag, we just go downstairs and get all the ones from that week or day or whatever. So I have the milk already in here and then I just put it in there and it will defrost. Whoa, I filled it pretty full. And when it's ready, I will put a squeeze of vitamins, some scoops of formula, and then we'll hook it all up in the bag and then we'll hook it up to him. Huh, and we'll show you that. Do you love it? Do you love it? It's oh, sweet. Such a sweet boy. So here is the formula. You've seen us, we put this in pretty much everything. We try to get more calories in him any way possible, so we put it in his baby. Anything he eats, we add a little bit of formula to. And obviously there's a recipe, it's not like we just guess, they tell us how much to add so that we know exactly how much he needs. We mix it in everything, and I do think it's working. He's getting yeah. bigger every appointment, he's weighing more. So, it's working. doing the trick. Yep. Mm, that's actually one super nice thing about 
feeding him this way because the vitamins are really gross and they're hard to get him to take. And now we can get him to take it no problem. He so doesn't complain. Right to his stomach. Milk shake, milk shake, shake, shake it up. Shake that leche. Milk shake, milk shake, shake it up. You get the pump ready, I just turn it on. And I seriously, this is like magic. I know there's like science behind it, but it doesn't really make sense to me. How this works. How this works, but just this little concoction here with pinch with air pressure and stuff, it controls how the milk goes through this tube so it won't just flow through evenly, like freely. So the first thing you have to do with a pump like this is you have to prime it. And that means basically get, because if I if I connected this to the baby and then I turned it on with air in this, that would put all that air into his stomach. So obviously that hurt would hurt him. So when you prime the pump, you actually that's getting basically all the air out of the tubing. So first you I'm gonna pour the milk in. And then I just hold prime. And then you can see it just fills up the tube. So that when I do connect it to him. There's no, there's no air in it, it just goes straight to milk. So then the next thing that we do is we take a syringe and we take it to, connect it to the baby's tube that goes into his stomach and you kind of pull back on the syringe and you pull back to make sure that it's, you can see some stomach contents and that's just letting you know that the tube is always in the right place before you put food into it. So we do that and then once we know it's connected right, then we hook it up to the milk. So we do this at night when the baby's asleep. So he doesn't even know and it's kind of awesome because when he's awake and we have to carry this around, it's so annoying. Yeah. 